Hello, Charlie. Good evening. Hello, good evening. What's going on, my boy? Fine. And you? Uh, still a little sick. But a bit better. A bit better. A little better, yeah. Hey, do you own, uh, do you own exposition? Uh, no, no. You did it yesterday, right? Uh, no, and yet the yeah. day before, yeah, the day before yesterday. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No problem. Okay, okay. let's wait for your classmates. Okay, okay, all right. All right. Hey, good evening, Elizabeth Mejia. How's it going, lady? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Well, how are you? A little better than yesterday, but I'm still sick. Um, y no hay mejorías. Yeah, yeah. A little better. A little better. Sí, yes. Sí. I mean, not a big difference, but a little bit. Um, but I believe for sure Saturday and Sunday it will fit perfect for me and um, I will be back normal on Monday 
Ah, bueno, sí, todavía se le oye de la gargantita un poco mal. Yeah. Cats, cats willing. Hey, Elizabeth, do you owe me an exposition? Oh, no, teacher. You finish, you right? You don't select me. You forget me about oh. <laughs> exposition. Ouch. That's an uppercut. That's an uppercut. <laughs> no, how could I forget you, Elizabeth? You are yeah. as important as Carlos. You are as important as any member of this family, believe me. Uh, no, I understand because you're sick. I... <laughs> yes, so worry. It's kidding. I know, I know. I like that. Yes, because I, I, I don't present my exposition. Okay. I, I lost. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I got it. You got it, but did you did you send me your picture? Yes, I send you. Um, to yourself to a sub personal refer because I... es que no nos tiene grabado y yo entiendo pero somos tantos y a saber cuántos alumnos más que yeah mm, what's your phone number my phone number is two nine eight two nine eight Uh, yes. Your WhatsApp? My WhatsApp is seven nine eight zero twelve nine five. No, I don't have any message from this number. You said and seven nine eight zero. No, no. Let me, let me, let me. Repeat. I'm a repeat. You're giving me your boyfriend's phone number. I need your phone number. Okay. <laughs> no. Just kidding. No, I just man. Let give me your your WhatsApp. Okay, Natalie, no problem. Uh, send it to the group. Can you send it to the group? Can you send it on the group right now? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> don't get nervous. Natalie, Natalie, oh, you cannot. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, no problem. Jessica, you finish your exposition, right? Sandra, you also finish your exposition. Carlos finished expositions. Okay. Everyone finish. But you, except, huh? Except me. Okay, what happens is that the best comes at the end. Huh? The best is at the end. Who's this? Let me see. Oh, that's you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, no, but you told me a different number. Yours is 7089. You told me 7980. After, after I'm. I the first I'm wrong because after the correct seven uh -huh. nine eight oh twelve nine five that's the wrong number. What wait which the one you just said the right number is seven zero eight nine one two nine five. Okay. Ah. That's correct. Uh oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm wrong. 
I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. I'm a little sick, but I, I still I still realize some things. So let's get ready to make questions to your classmate Elizabeth. It's her time to present her exposition. Let's rock and roll, lady. Okay, one, two, three. Good Check. evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. I talk about Christopher Robert Evans. He is known for Chris Evans. He was born in Boston. He studied in New York. Chris Evans plays the role of Captain America. He is good looking. He has small blue eyes. He has white skin. He is got short fair hair. He wears a mustache and beard. He is very tall. And mm -hmm. He, well, he is, yo lo tengo así. He is height one mirror eight three. He, he is in his forties. Mm -hmm. He is, he has a tattoo. He is shapely. He is a singer too. Oh yeah? Yes. That's all teacher. Sounds well, sounds well. Questions people, let's make care questions. What kind of tattoo does he have? He has a... Um, so the car scene. Oh yeah. Yes, and left shoulder. On the on the left on the left on his left shoulder. Okay. On his left shoulder. You have a lot of information about Chris Evans, do you? I investigated. You, you say I investigated. I, I investigated. You investigated about him. That's good. You Google, you Google information about him, huh? That's Google good. information. That's right. Question, please. Any, any question, please. Any question, okay, guys. Feel free, feel free, guys. <laughs> Only one, only one, long a monton. <laughs> Sandra, you have something, Sandra? How old is he? I have a question. But let me. First, Sandra. There you go. What is uh, let me the ultimate moon? What? Repeat again, please. Please. What is the ultimate movie? It's better for you to ask what is his last movie? Ah. Movie. Okay, we have two questions, Elizabeth. Let me, in order. Mm -hmm. The first, Sandra. Yep. Sandra, he has in his, in, no, he has in 41 years old. Can you repeat that, please? He is in 41 years old. Okay. Yes. And 
the last movie, uh, I don't know, because I think uh, Avengers, no sé qué. Maybe, no, huh? I, I know it. Okay. Pero, Okay. Good. Do you have, do we have any other question? I have a question for Elizabeth. How, how handsome is Chris Evans? Yes. He has. Yes. I don't understand. Can you repeat? Yes, repeat. No, do you repeat me the question, please? Can you repeat the question, please? Okay, the question is How handsome is Chris Evans? Mm, depend, for example, for female, like a lot of handsome men, because uh, male, a little handsome men. Okay, so I understand that you said for a lot of females, Chris Evans is a very handsome man, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Do you agree, Sandra? Do you agree? Do you agree, Katia? Do you agree? Yes, they, yes, they are. Yes, agree. Sure. Uh, I think he is very handsome. <laughs> all right, all right. Not so much. Uh, Elizabeth says, depending, it depends, right? Depending on your likes. Some women likes white skin, some women likes uh, dark skin, etc. right? So I guess we have to jump right now. Thank you, Elizabeth, for your interaction. Applauses for Elizabeth. Oh, oh thank you so much. Good job. <laughs> good leadership. Good job, good job. Okay, so... I think you also have Tanya. Is that right, Tanya? Do you have an exposition for us tonight? Uh, in Mandel group. <laughs> in the group? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is your phone number? In uh, English or in Spanish? <laughs> in English, please. Oh. Uh, seven six three zero oh, and eight three nine four. Mm. Uh, It's a picture of the Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Three, nine. I don't see it. Okay, wait. You said Freddie Mercury? Uh -huh. Let me check. I'll find it. Ah, this is it. I got it. Yeah. Where he's wearing uh, white jeans, right? Is it white jeans? I think he's wearing on that picture. So let's hear one of your classmates. This is one of the last um, expositions, I guess. Let me know if you can see it, please. Let me know. Can you see it? Can you see the yes, teacher? Yes, teacher. Awesome. Let's rock and roll, young lady. Let's go, Tanya. Okay. Uh, Fredo Mercury was a British singer, songwriter, who achieved 
worldwide. The famous lead vocalist of the rock, the Bams the Queen. One of my favorite singers is Anson. He is very tall, he is dark high, and a mustache, and he wears short hair. He has black eyes, the light white skin. He is thin. Okay. That's it. Now, this picture is about a singer that is dead. Uh, we could um, get a little struggle, right? A little confused with the simple present questions and simple past questions. But let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Somebody has a question for Tanya. Me Go ahead. What was the most famous song that he sang? Awesome. Ah, um, Bunny Rexoli. Okay, okay. A demonstration, a demonstration. Demonstration. <laughs> another day, another day. No worries. Another day, Tanya. Another day. Do we have any other question for Tanya, guys? No more? What was what was his age when he died? Oh, that's an interesting one. What was his age when he died? I think he was in his 40s, something like that. Uh, Do you have that I information? Think, um, it's good. I the thing, I the thing, um, do you see? 30 30s maybe in his 30s 30, 30, 30. think so 30. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. no worries okay because of the time guys we have to move on so let's give a round of applause for tanya good job good job congratulations thank you. <laughs> thank you thank you thank you and let me share now the screen guys we have a little conversation using the present perfect you remember Yes, I have a question for you, class. Have you have you cooked breakfast for all your family? Yes, yes teacher, all the time. <laughs> all right, yes, I have. Yes. All right. Now, it's important to understand that present perfect is to talk about an action that started in the past, but this action continues in the present. That's the difference between the present perfect and the simple past. The simple past is about actions that are completed actions that finished present perfect these actions may continue in the present do you have a question for the class katya in present perfect have you wait um i i did it's correct i did uh, three questions oh you did three questions it's That's okay. marvelous <laughs> yeah share them um, have you been working have you been working it's telling me something but you need to like finish it uh -huh. have you been working today on 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 weekends 
Uh -huh, uh -huh. Have you been working on weekends? Uh -huh. Okay, in my case, yes, yes, I have. What about you guys? Have you been working on weekends? Yes, I have. Shh. And the rest? Yes. Yes, 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 what? Yes, I do. Yes, I am. Yes, I did. No. Tell me yes. something. Yes, I have. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, and the other students? Yes, I have, teacher. You guys work on weekends, huh? You have money, you have money, huh? That's good. <laughs> the more you work, the more money you have, or no? No, teacher, yeah. What do you no. mean, no, teacher? You, oh, what do you mean? You're working on the weekends and you don't have on money? Weekends. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. What is the next question you have for us, Miss Rano? Uh, how long have you been studying English? How long have you been studying English? Ahora, ahí ya se me avanzó bastante porque es además de ser present perfect, es un presente perfecto continuo. Entonces ahí ya es otro tiempo más avanzadito, Miss. Pero la felicito, la pregunta está super cool. A ver la otra, the other one. Have you been painting the house in the week? Igual, igual, porque me está poniendo un gerund. Uh, Ajá. Uh, Entonces ahí ya uh, lo convierte no solo en present perfect, sino en present perfect continuous. Eh, uh, no problem, no problem. Pero en su momento vamos a ver ese tiempo también. Okay, All right. Okay. No problem. Um, who else? Let me see, Carlos. Do you have something for us? Yes. Tell us. Acabo de entrar, no, no sé qué están. Oh, it's true, it's true, it's true. Okay, pay attention. Jessica, do you have something for us? Yes. Go ahead. Have you visited the downtown of San Salvador? Outstanding. Did you get that? Can you repeat that slower, please, Jessica, for your classmates? Have you visited the downtown of San Salvador? No, I the, haven't. The new downtown, huh? Yes. Yes, I have. You have? I have. Yes, what I about have. You? What about you? No, I, I have. Oh, you have to. You have to. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. It's amazing. Good question, Miss Castro. Do you have something else? Yes. Have you sung any Aniceto song? <laughs> That's a good one. Have you sung any Aniceto Molina's song? Yes, I, I do. have in Christmas. <laughs> what did you say? What did you... Tanya, repeat, Tanya. Repeat your answer, Tanya. Yes, I do. <laughs> Yes, I no, have. Sorry. Yes, I have. Yes, yeah. I have. Sorry. Aquí estamos con person perfect. Good job. Good job. Who, who hasn't, right? Ahí la pregunta sería, who hasn't? ¿Quién no lo ha hecho? Who hasn't? I think everybody, everybody has. All right. Thank you, Miss Castro. Let's see. Miss Campos must have something for us. What have you been doing in the morning? Ah, vaya, y entramos en el mismo topic de Katia, right? Que esa ya es un present perfect continuous. O sea, no le digo que está mal. Me encanta que ya estén ahí. Me encanta que ya estén ahí. I love that. Okay. Pero not to, not to get out of the topic, not to confuse the other classmates. Vamos a darle prioridad al, 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 al tense, al present perfect. Okay. Uh, do you have something else? Have you finished your homework? Mm, that's that's it. That's it. Have you finished your homework? Hey, have you finished your homework on the platform, guys? Yes, I have. Ooh. Yes, I have. Talk to me. Talk to me. No, I haven't. Okay, uh, your honesty is appreciated. Your honesty is appreciated. 
<laughs> All right, nice question. Something else? That's it? Uh, other. Okay. Have you told a lie today? Have you? Told a lie today? I like today. All right. That's a good one. Okay. Awesome. Guys, I know that you have questions, more questions to practice, but we have to continue with the course. I really appreciate your participation. Encourage all the classmates to imitate that great skill that will take you to a higher level. Okay. So keep it up. Let's go over this video. Yes. Here we go. It's new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect, already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for ten years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples. Has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay. Okay, let's go over this topic little by little, little no, by No, they little. haven't eaten yet. Um, first off, let's make questions using have you been, have you written, have you called, have they eaten, okay? Um, remember the affirmative statements? You say, yes, I've been. Yes, she's written. Hey, remember this contraction, she's, right? She has, right? Don't confuse that is the verb to be, right? In this case, it's present perfect. You see here the post participle verb? Then that means that this is present perfect, okay? So this is not the verb to be. This is the contraction of she has, 
All right. Do you have any question? Yes, Katya, go ahead. Open your mic. Sorry, sorry, teacher. I can hear when you. When we use she's, he's, the different to the present perfect, he is, she is, it's only used a seguido, how do you say? Followed. Follow the verb to present part participle. Yes, the past participle but, verb. But the pronunciation is similar. It's the same. It's okay. the same. That's right. That's totally right. So you're going to say she's as if you're saying she is, right? But because of the past participle verb, that tells you that this is present perfect. Okay. Have you, have you, have you eaten dinner yet, guys? Have you eaten dinner yet? No, I no, I haven't. Okay. ¿Qué más puedo contestar? No, I haven't. Yes, ¿Qué más? yes I been yet. No. Yes, I have. Yes, I yes, have. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. Okay. ¿Qué más? Yes, I have. I've already eaten. Correct. Yes, I've already eaten. Necesito que traten de usarme already y que traten de usarme yet. Si no lo han hecho, van a usar yet, right? In the negative. No, I haven't eaten yet. Okay? Very well. So let me ask you, um, have you checked your Facebook today? Yes, I already uh, check the Facebook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the simple pass of check is ED, right? So the pronunciation is with letter T, checked. Y ahí vas a poner it para sustituir el Facebook. So, yes, I've already checked it. Checked it. It's a little difficult to pronounce. Or you can say, yes, I've already checked my Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, have you drunk coffee today? Yes. I yes. I drank drink. No. Today. Simple Already. present drink. Simple past drunk. Past participle drunk. Drunk. Uh, yes, I already drank. Yes, I already drunk. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's continue here. Let's continue here. I want you to see. I want you to see this one. Uh huh. Let me see. So we use yet in the questions too. For example, have you been to? Have you been to Los Planes yet? Uh -huh, guys, have you been to Los Planes yet? No, yet. Okay. Okay, that's a good no, one. No, I haven't yet. No, I haven't been. No, I haven't been there yet. Repeat, Sandra. No, I haven't been yet. No, no, I haven't been. There? There? Yet. Yet. Uh -huh. yet. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, have you eaten Italian food yet?
No, I haven't eaten yet. No, I haven't eaten. Eaten. Uh -huh. No, I haven't eaten yet. Ok, ok, ok. También podemos hacer preguntas en negativas, como, como cuando decimos en español, no has tú, tú has, no has hecho tú tal cosa, ¿verdad? Haven't you, haven't, haven't you got ready yet? No te has alistado todavía. Haven't you got ready? Haven't you? It's a negative question. Okay? Instead of saying have you, haven't you is less common, es menos común, but it also happens. Ok. Has the post. I have a question in third person. Let's practice. Let's make a conversation right now. It's very early. My question for any volunteer in the class is about Elizabeth. Um, has Elizabeth been to a different country yet? Do you know? If you don't know, find out. Yes, I have uh, already been in another country. So, has she been to another country, guys? Have, has she been to another country yet? Yes, she has been there. Yes, yes, she has been to different countries. Different countries. Yes, she has. ¿Qué uh, puedo usar ahí? Already or yet? Already. Correct. Yes, she has already. Bang medio. She has already been to a different country. Okay, okay. I have another question for the class. Has has Carlos got married yet? No, he hasn't uh, married yet. He hasn't got? He hasn't got? Married. married. Mm -hmm. Is that correct, Carlos? You haven't, you haven't got married yet. Yes. Yes, what? Uh, no, no. Yes, no. Yes, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yesterday. What you maybe. mean? Maybe. Oh, I'm sorry for putting you on the spot. It's a little no, personal no. situation. <laughs> In process. No. Kind of. Kind of. ¿Ya han oído esa expresión? Kind of. No. Como algo así. Kind of. Yes. Kind of. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se escribe? Igual como, como tipo de kind. K-I-N-D. Y el of. Kind of. Eh, también se escribe como kinda. Así como, como se escucha. K-I-N-D-A. Kinda. Uh -huh. All right. That's an interesting. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let's ask about Sandra. Okay, what can we ask about Sandra, guys? In third person, has Sandra driven a car yet? Has she driven a car yet? What do you I think? I think uh, yes, yes. She's driven uh, already a car. Uh, already dri driving, driving. Yes, yeah, she's contraction. She's already already driving. Driven, driven. Yes, drive, drive, driven. No, she hasn't driven a car. She hasn't driven a car. ¿Y qué puedes usar ahí en la negativa, José? Correct. She hasn't. Oh, 
bueno, ahí lo usaste todo. Lo que estaba enfatizando es que me usaras uno de estos, ya sea el already o el yet. Sería el yet acá en este caso porque la dijiste en negativo. Okay. No, she hasn't. A car yet. So can you can you satisfy our question, please, Sandra? Have you driven a car yet? Yes, I have um, already driven a car. A car. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Really? All right. You have already driven a car, but not in the fair, not in the fair. We're talking about a real vehicle, Miss Campos. Is correct? Do you have a driver's license? Yes. Yes. Get out of the way, Miss Sandra is coming. All right, no problem. All right, good job. Good participation, guys. Eh, this topic is very extensive. Tratemos de acostumbrarnos a ese uso de already and yet. It's super necessary when you're uh, using the present perfect. A ver, practicamos un poquito más. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Prepare a question using present perfect. Prepare a question using present perfect for the class in general. In general, I'm going to open with one question too. Okay. My question is. I have a question. Oh, you have a question? Go ahead. Have you been a football World Cup yet? Can you repeat? Have you been a football World Cup yet? World Cup? Yes, World Cup. Have you been to a game in the World Cup? Is that your question? Ah, okay. Have you been game a game in the World World Cup? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. The the Elizabeth's question is: Have you been to a game in the World Cup yet? I don't know if you understand that question. Do you understand? If you like no, soccer, I haven't. you haven't, Jessica? Okay. No, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. Okay, good. Somebody else? No, I haven't been yet. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. I have a question. Proceed. Have you eaten pupusas white duck sauce yet? <laughs> Have you eaten? You can say eating. eaten, 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 Eat. or puede decir eaten, eaten, or eaten. Have you eaten? Have you eaten pupusas white black sauces? Jet with black with black sauce. Yes. Ah, es que en unos lugares así la comen, verdad? With black sauce. Okay. Have you eaten pupusas with black sauce? With black sauce? Yet? No, I haven't eaten yet. You haven't eaten that yet? Yes. Yes, I have been. No, I, no, I, uh, I, I have eaten. You have eaten them, Tanya? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> you guys? Are you guys? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Where are you from, Tanya? Uh, uh, Santa Rosa de Lima. 
Oh my gosh. Where are you from, Carlos? San Miguel. <laughs> the hot city. Okay. <laughs> so, have you, Elizabeth? Have you? No, I haven't eaten yet. What about I... you, Jess? Jess? No, I haven't eaten pupusa with that one yet. <laughs> Would you like to try that? No. <laughs> No. no, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> What's it like, Carlos? Is it good like that? Tania, yes. is it delicious? Yes, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> delicious. <Really? laughs> well, as long as you're hungry, as long as you're hungry, I guess, you know. <laughs> but How do you, you do the sauce? Is it, ya no, no es la salsa negra, pues? Oh, no. The same to the mango. Sí. But the same, sí, sí. yeah, the same they put to the mango. Yes. <laughs> no. I think. You're going to think about it. You're I think, think it's good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, they, they just woke up my curiosity right now. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to try, but uh, I'm a little afraid my stomach will, will <laughs> respond negatively. I don't know. Anyways, thank you for making it interesting, guys. Let's move on with this topic. Practice your present perfect. This is a very, very useful tense. We use it on a daily basis. So it's important to mix and to dominate present perfect and simple past. It's important to know the difference between them, right? Okay. And here we have a new video. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, so check how they actually combine present no, perfect only with simple past. Okay. Here, have you been here long? Have you been here long? Okay. Um, have you chosen? Have you chosen? Choose? Chose? Chosen? Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Ok. Um, aquí ella no necesariamente contestó con yes or no, right? Simplemente le dio su opinión. I can't decide. Have you ever eaten or eaten Moroccan food? Ok, aquí sí contestamos. No, I haven't. Ok, question. Is it good? Asking for an opinion. All right. Have you ever had... Have you ever had? Remember that had, uh, you can use had similarly to eaten. It's very similar. Have and eat is very similar when, when it comes about food. Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. And here, when I confirm an information, I go with the simple pass. I lived I lived in Thailand as a teenager. Another one in past. I ate it. I ate it a lot there. What did she eat? Thai food. You're talking about Thai food. So I ate it a lot there. 
Okay. Um, and here, another question, but in simple past. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Let's practice this conversation. Um, I'm going to interpret Peter and students will interpret Mandy. Ready, set, let's go. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No. 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 For a few minutes. For a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't, I, I can't decide. decide. Have you Have ever eaten Moroccan, Moroccan, Moroccan food? Moroccan food? Mm, oh, I haven't. Is it good? It's, it's delicious. delicious. I've had I it several times. Several times. Several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, 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 I have. Uh, I lived I in Thailand. Thailand. Teenager. Uh, I eat uh, it a lot of there. there. I eat it a lot there. I ate it. I ate. Like the number, like the number, like the number eight. Yes? I ate it. A lot there. Um, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived I live there for two years. years. I lived there for two years. Switch. The students start. Three, two, one. Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm late. Have you been here long? No. Only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? A restaurant? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, no I haven't. I haven't. Is, it Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. <laughs> Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had wheat curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. All right, so let's use this type of questions, guys. Let's use this type of questions to make a little practice. For example, is it good? I have a it's question still... for each of you. How long, how long have you studied English at Inglés Corporativo? How long have you studied English at English Corporativo? And each of you has a different answer for me. And uh, maybe one or two may have a similar one. What about you, Katya? I have been studying in English Corporativo for five models. Is correct or not? Somehow, somewhat, somewhat, Katya. I need you to I need you to be able to identify the PP verb that I'm using in my question. So you can use that PP verb on your answer. Because it's not always going to be been. In this case, mm -hmm. I use studied. Okay. I I studied. In English, in English Corporativo for five models. If you're using a contraction, right? If you're saying I've, I've, I've studied. I studied uh -huh. for five models. Uh -huh. Correct, correct. That's, that's present perfect. That's present perfect. Okay. Take note of it. Okay. What about you, Sandra? It's the same. Uh, it's the same? Uh, Yes, I have studied in five mo five models. Wait, is it is it study like study or or is it the the past participle verb studied? Yes. Studied. Uh huh. Uh huh. Studied. I have studied. Uh huh. 
for five models. Five modules, really? When yes. did you, you started it, what? You started in basic? Yes. No kidding. Ah, it's amazing, huh? It works, huh? It's a good program, huh? You're speaking more English now. <laughs> no? A little. A little? It's not working. <laughs> No worries, no worries. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process, Miss Sandra. No, no, no. You're very, you're very capable. Each of you, each of you, you're very intelligent. Okay, what about you, Carlos? What about you, Carlos? I studied for five models. Five modules. Yes. What about you, Jess? I have studied for two modules. Two modules, okay, two modules. What about you, Sam? I studied five modules. I've, I've studied, usame la preposición for, F-O-R, para los periodos de tiempo, toma nota, okay. I studied for for five modules 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 okay correcto cada vez que hables de un periodo de tiempo vas a usar for okay cuando vas a hablar de um, algo específico is 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 different so what about you tania uh i just to the five for models Okay, where do you live? Where do you live? Let me start with Emma. Where do you live, Je uh, Emma? Where do you live, Elizabeth? I live in San Jacinto. San Jacinto, that's San Salvador, correct? Yes, yes. So my question I... is this, my question is this, how long how long have you lived there? I've lived in San Jacinto for eight years. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting, interesting. What about you? Uh, let me see, Natalie. Oh, Natalie cannot speak. What about you, Jessica? Where do you live and how long have you been? How long have you lived? I'm sorry. How long have you lived there? I live in Merliot and I have lived here for 14 years. Amazingly answered, Miss Castro, you rock and roll. Okay, what about you, Samuel? What about you, Tanya? I, I live in Santa Rosa de Lima uh, for Okay, I have lived, I have lived here, okay, for a certain amount of time. What about you, Carlos? I live in San Miguel for 22 years. 22 years. And how old are you? Uh, 22. 22, all your life practically. Okay, okay, okay. What about you, Miss Serrano? Um, when I am single. When I was? When I was single, I lived in Soyapango for 30 years. Mm. And when I was married. When I got. When I got married. I live, I live, live okay. You moved, you moved. Uh -huh, to San Martin 
San Martin, which is next to San Martin, is next, next to yes. Soya, right? Yes. And I, I live. I have there. lived. I have I lived. I have lived there for 10 years. Porque continúa viviendo mm -hmm. ahí. Esa es la aplicación del present perfect. Good job. What about you, Sandy? Campos. I, I, I have lived to 30 years old, uh, no, 30 years in Lourdes. Okay, you have lived in Lourdes for 30 years? Yes. Wow. Lourdes is next to Ateos, right? Yes. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. All right, guys. I cannot describe how motivating it is for me as a teacher to, to have you in my class. I know that maybe not all my students are attending today, uh, but the ones that are here, I, I make it really, really, really enjoyable. I have nothing but uh, to thank you uh, for your participation and for the way you take this course, how serious you take it. So enjoy your weekend, take a break, have some family time. Please remember that the weather conditions say that's going to be a rain rain on and rain off all the weekend so be careful take your umbrella if you're going out and i will see you monday okay thank you thank you good night good night everyone see you monday happy weekend have a nice weekend thank you bye 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 everyone